great. Yes. I'm Hey, I'm Harshit. I'll be presenting keyword recommendation for fair search. Uh, I'm a Syracuse University graduate. I currently work at MicroStrategy based out of Washington, DC. And this work was done under supervision of Professor Sandarajan from Syracuse University as well. So let me, yeah. So as you know, as we'll be discussing in this workshop and other venues too, search engine results can sometimes exhibit undesirable bias as highlighted by Dr. Safia Nubel in her book, Algorithm of Oppression. As you can see the cover image of the book, search queries can sometimes return undesirable, search engines can sometimes result in undesirable results for some search queries. Also highlighted by Balkwisi et al. in their paper, managed to come to program as for Minister Homemaker, the extreme gender-based associations that are present in, in word embeddings, then they become part of downstream machine learning applications and can induce bias in those applications as well. Uh, so here, as we can see, I wanted to search for Black Lives Matter. And when I added the word keyword writers in the search query, we get a certain set of results. As you can see, they're full of violence and race and anger. Now, when we, again, search for the subject Black Lives Matter, but with the query protesters in it, we can get a different set of results. So although we are talking about the same, same subject, but be, depending upon the keyword that we are using, we can get a very different set of results. So now before jumping on to my method, I want to discuss the current methods that are used to tackle bias in search results. So first we have the re-ranking of top key items that can be done by individual fairness or group fairness. Individual fairness being similar individuals are treated in a consistent manner and group fairness being protected groups should be treated similar to advantage groups. Other method is to debias word embeddings itself to remove discriminatory biases present in word embeddings and make downstream applications less biased. And I also want to highlight the work done in diversity in recommender system as it is relevant to my method, where we strive to provide relevant and diverse information to the end user. So all the methods that we discussed, they modify and audit the search results directly. And there's also a lack of explainability between the end user and the search results. For example, if I go to Google News and I get a different results, different set of results, it would be helpful if I can understand is it due to the query that I'm using or is it due to the change in the underlying algorithm and data set itself. So with this motivation, we propose fair here, that is fair keyword recommendations. We will provide keyword recommendations that will provide less bias and still relevant results to the end user. So we have a user and we have a query that is entered into a search engine and we get a set of results. With fair care, we will suggest a candidate query that can be used by the user to get a, a still relevant results, but from a different point of view. So starting with the fair care method, again, the basic flowchart, we have a user, we have a query say writers that is entered into a search engine and we get a set of results. Now with fair care, we also collect a set of candidate keywords in our work, we are using word embeddings to fetch a set of candidate keywords. Now, from these set of candidate keywords, based on the selected dimensions, we score these keywords and the documents written for them. So, say we, if for the, the query is rioters, for the words like protesters and looters, we will score them on the selected dimensions. So, in this dummy example, you can see the word protesters is highly relevant to our main search query rioters, and its bias is less than a search query, the bias of rioters. And we have another keyword looters that is less relevant and it has more bias in our main search query. So based on these table, let this be table one, we'll generate a Pareto front. Now, before moving on to our method, I want to briefly explain Pareto front. Pareto front is used in multi-objective problems where we want to find optimal points to satisfy multiple objectives. It is possible that those objectives are similar, like we want to minimize all the, all the objectives or you want to maximize all the objectives. In our work, we want to maximize one dimension that is relevant while keeping other dimension bias in check. So this falls under epsilon constrained method. So with this Pareto front, we'll generate a set of optimal keywords and these selected candidate keywords will be written back to the end user saying these keyword will generate relevant results and they will provide less bias results. So, and this will be the fair care method. In terms of data collection, we collected data from pair of subreddits such as Republican versus Democrats, Ask Men versus Ask Women, Ask American versus Ask British, 
these documents were labeled as plus one or minus one depending upon the subreddits where they were posted. Uh, now I want to specify some keywords that we are using in fair care. So number one is diversity. We are measuring diversity in terms of bias as each document written has a bias score of plus one or minus one depending upon the subreddits where they were posted. So bias for a keyword Q is the average of the bias scores of written documents. And for relevance, the relevance between two keywords is equivalent to the similarity between the two set of documents written for those keywords. And we're using a modified F1 score to calculate the relevance. Of safe, we have two set of documents. D prime is the top end documents written for us district query A. And we have another set of document D. These are the top end documents written for a search query. We will compute maximum for each document in D prime. We'll compute the highly relevant document in our document set D, and this will be the maximum similarity. We are using cosine based similarity to compute this score, and precision will be the average of these computed maximum values. Recall would be the other way around. For each document in D, we'll find the most closely similar document in D prime, and recall will be the average of these computed maximum similarities. From this, we'll create our F1 score, and that will be a relevance metric. Now coming to observations, the vertical axis here is relevance, the horizontal axis is bias. Words in the right-hand side of the vertical axis, these are the words that are biased towards democratic subreddits. That means that they written keywords, they written more documents from democratic subreddits and the Republican subreddit and vice versa. So here we can see for query rioting, we get words like rioters, clashes, which are more biased towards Republican subreddits. And we get words like violence that is slightly biased in Republican subreddit. And we get the keyword looting as neutral. Now as looting is highly relevant and it is less biased than a query rioting, on our Pareto front we written looting as a selected keyword. Now in our work, we are also generating a pseudo Pareto front that is without the absolute constraint where we will return a highly relevant keywords without bias in check. So in this case, we written the keyword unrest and looting for a query writing as a selected candidate keywords, which will return highly relevant results. Uh, this chart is from our data collected from Ask Men and Ask Women subreddit. For a query loneliness, we see that we written the word grief as it is slightly less bias in Ask Men side. And we also written anxiety as being neutral and relevant. In a pseudo Pareto front, we generate keywords, we return keywords, boredom and longing as being highly relevant and also providing bias in the opposite direction. Now coming back to fair care framework again, our main objective is to find a diverse set of keyword recommendations for a given query, provided those recommendations should be relevant and they should exhibit less bias. So a competing objective becomes two parts. One is diversity and diversity other is relevance. For diversity, we want to make sure that the diversity of the set of documents written for a candidate query, that diversity should be more than the diversity of a set of documents written for a main search query. We are using bias to measure diversity. The less bias, the more diverse the keywords are and vice versa. And for relevance, we, are, we can calculate relevance by a click-through rate, but as click-through rate is not known beforehand, we are using a modified F1 method to calculate the relevance metric. So our framework becomes find candidate queries for a given search query, compute bias and relevance for all the queries, we use a multi-objective optimization technique based on bias and relevance, and return the candidate keywords back to the end user. Uh, before jumping to conclusion, I want to come back to the writing chart. So as discussed before, we have the vertical axis as relevance, we have the horizontal axis as bias, Words on the right hand side are biased in the democratic side and words on the left are biased to the Republican side. So for query writing, we got words like rioters and clashes, which were heavily biased in the Republican side. And we get word like unrest, which was slightly biased in democratic side. Now this data was collected before the January 6th insurrection in US when Black Lives Matter protests were going on in fall of 2020. Now when January 6th insurrection happened and we wanted to understand like, will this flow chart will change? So when we collected data, as you can see, there's a slight shift in all the keywords moving towards the democratic side. So words like rioters and riot, which were earlier heavily biased in the public insight are now slightly less biased. Words like looting, which were earlier neutral, are now biased in the democratic side. And words like unrest, which were earlier slightly biased in democratic sites, are now heavily biased. 
So Faircare can also provide uh, insight into how different similar type, similar set of keywords are being used to talk about different events by different political groups. So coming to the conclusion, we provide Faircare as an algorithmic framework to identify relevant keywords. It can be used as part of a search engine framework, or it can also be used as a standalone browser plugin. And thank you. I'm also looking to come back to Academia. So if anyone has an opening in the PhD department and you're curious about Faircare, let me know. And thank you. Uh, any questions?